this episode of Mustard Temple Dreams. I am Neha and today we are making an iconic Maharashtrian breakfast dish called Kande Pohe. This widely eaten dish is such a crowd pleaser, not just because it's so delicious and nutritious, but also because it's a dish that brings people together. Did you know that in Maharashtra, it's a tradition to serve Kande Pohe when families meet for the first time to discuss and arrange the marriages of their children. So, for a lot of people, this delicious breakfast dish made out of flattened rice or poha not only brings a healthy start to a day, but also a lot of memories and nostalgia. So, let's jump right in and make some yummy kande pohe. And don't forget to check out the list of ingredients in the description below. To make our kande pohe, here I've taken 3 cups of thick poha or flattened rice. Now I'm going to gently rinse the poha under running water for a few seconds. Now we'll rest the poha on the counter for about 10 minutes and let them drain completely. Now I'm going to very gently fluff up the poha with my hand to separate the individual flakes. Next, I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of sugar and gently mix it into the poha. My mom taught me this trick and it really helps to season the poha uniformly. Now we'll cover the poha and set it aside and begin our cooking. To make our kande pohe, I'm going to start by adding about 3 tablespoons of oil into this pan. When the oil becomes hot, I'm going to add in about half a teaspoon of mustard seeds. As the mustard seeds begin to splutter, I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Next, we are going to add about 3 to 4 pinches of hing or asafoetida and about 8 to 10 curry leaves. We'll give this tempering a quick stir and then add in a tablespoon of raw peanuts. We'll fry the peanuts in the tempering till they become nice and crispy. Next, we'll add in 3 to 4 green chilies that are cut in big pieces and fry them in the tempering for a few seconds. Now, we'll add in a medium-sized onion that's finely chopped. We'll saute the onions till they become translucent and then add some salt and sugar to taste. As you add the salt and sugar, don't forget that we've already seasoned the poha which we are going to add in soon. We'll saute the onions and cook them till they become soft and then add in half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. We'll mix in the turmeric powder thoroughly and then add in a small boiled potato that's evenly cubed. Adding the boiled potato is going to make our kande pohe even more tasty and filling. Once the potatoes are evenly coated, we are going to add in our rinsed and seasoned flattened rice or poha. We'll gently mix in the poha and make sure that all the flakes are coloured evenly. This looks perfect. Just look at that beautiful yellow colour. Now we are going to sprinkle about 3 to 4 tablespoons of water on top of our poha. This is going to prevent the poha from drying out and help them keep soft and fluffy. Now we are going to squeeze in a generous amount of lime juice. At this point, we'll give our kande pohe a taste and adjust the seasoning only if and as required. Now we'll switch off the heat, cover the pan and let the poha rest for about 5 minutes before serving. Garnish with some fresh grated coconut and a generous amount of coriander leaves before serving.
वाह 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 डज इन दिस प्लेट ऑफ कांदे पोहे लुक डिलिशियस लेट्स डिग इट Oh my god what a perfect combination of flavors and textures here's a tip these kande pohe go best with a steaming cup of hot chai make sure you give this gorgeous recipe a try and when you do let me know how it turns out in the comments below and don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to mustard temper dreams see you next week bye